three laser scanners um, scanned the very big ingot and um, two of the scanners were covering the sides uh, while the middle one covers the top surface so now I will show you the row point clouds for example this belongs to the leftmost one this is not processed uh, this belongs to the middle scanner while this belongs to the rightmost one so now we will merge these point clouds together and we will find some measurements these measurements are going to be width width length um, the homogeneity of the top surface the delta the deltas of the sides as well and for example while calculating width um, we are not finding the width of the top surface but we are finding furthest point in this side and then another furthest point in this side so then we get the distance between these two very far points the merged point cloud is this one so we have some noises which are floating in space but uh, when we apply some 3D outlier removal functions and some filter filters they will be uh, disappear so while this image memory concentrates on the whole object uh, our major aim is to f investigate the top surface so that's why in this image memory we are dealing only with the top surface so it says that for example the length of the ingot is more than 5 meters so it is there and it says that the delta the difference between minimum and maximum points on the surface is 5.5 millimeters so um, to acquire some results belong to sides we select the side surfaces which are seen as white in this image memory we make some operations on them to find these delta points we find the minimum and maximum points in these white regions